Derrick James is the right guy. Oh, oh, oh! Hey! Derrick James is the right guy. Look at this video again. What do you see? You see how Derrick James told him to keep his guard up, right? Right? Yeah, shoe program. But that's not why Derrick James is the right guy. Every trainer that's worth anything know that Ryan Garcia got to keep his guard up. But that's not why Derrick James is the right guy. That moment, that moment right before Derrick James told him to keep his guard up is why Derrick James is the right guy. You want to see it again? Look at it again. See, Ryan Garcia threw that right hand and he dropped it a little bit. He loved his work, showed out a little bit. Derrick James ain't like that shit. That look that Derrick James gave, I know the look. That look right there, I know the look. See, that's the look that my brothers used to give me. That's the look that I give my kids, my sons when I'm training them. Same look. You, he ain't like that shit. He looked at him, dialed in. We ain't playing no games. I love it. Kudos to Derrick James. This is why you're trainer of the year and you're going to be a Hall of Famer. Kudos to King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, for picking Derrick James. Because I'll tell you this. What did De La Hoya say about Ryan Garcia choosing Derrick James? I'm, yeah, I'm glad that he has Derrick as the trainer uh, because I know he's going to be there, you know, cracking the whip. Precisely. He knows. He knows. Listen, Ryan Garcia needs the cracking of a whip. And what did De La Hoya say when he was talking about how he needed the same thing and how he got it from Floyd Mayweather Sr.? From my experience, he needs, he needs authority. Because I had that as well. The one trainer that I most respected, the, the one trainer that would get me out of bed at 4.30 in the morning when I didn't want to get up was Floyd Mayweather Sr. I mean, he would literally throw a fucking bucket of water uh, over my head so I can wake up. Precisely. De La Hoya understands. He knew what was best for him, and Ryan Garcia is doing the same thing too. Let me tell you this. Ryan Garcia fighting at 140. They can swat up there. They can swat a little bit more than 135. Right? He felt some power from Javante Tank Davis who hits like a heavyweight. But those are the type of punches closer to that as he move up. He can't have his chin exposed. The thing is, Ryan Garcia has a hell of a chin. And he got dropped to the body, though, by Javante Tank Davis, TKO. A lot of that had to do with the rehydration clause, granted. But durability is one thing. But knowing how to protect yourself, defend yourself, so just lucky shots, haymaker shots, or things that shouldn't be landed, doesn't land. Derek James is the right guy for the job. Kudos to Derek James. Kudos to King Ryan, Ryan Garcia. I'm happy that you came on home. You came on home, dog. Let me know how you all feel in the comments below. Show biz adult. I'm out.